Welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be an install of a radiator for 2012 Infinity FX 35 all wheel drive. On my last video, I was showing how to remove the radiator while still leaving the AC condenser intact. So I was saying that you could flip up this bracket here, which is the bracket that goes directly under the front of the hood lip. You can actually just flip this up there. This, this bracket here holds the two lines that are attached to it. So you could actually just unclip those. It's much easier to unclip them and just put the bracket off to the side. That way you don't have to worry about it scratching your paint if you don't have a uh, cover. And you, it's less things that you have in your way when installing a new radiator. Like I said, you don't want it to scratch anything up or damage anything on the new radiator while you're installing that. So to start out, I have cleaned down where the radiator goes. There was quite a bit of coolant there. So now I'm just double checking pretty much to make sure my clearance is correct for the radiator to fit and clear the condenser and this section here. With the bracket here, I'm more than likely going to zip tie this probably to one of these clips or to one of the holes where the clips go. That way it'll keep this held back and I can keep this condenser or hold this condenser back. It'll be easier for me to hold it back without trying to hold this bracket back as well. So that was easy enough. It's holding the bracket back. That way I can focus on holding the condenser back without having to hold that bracket back too. All right, so this is the new radiator. I am gonna to have to remove a piece here. This is the coupling or the connector for the upper hose. And that's gonna to have to be removed from the radiator to make sure we can fit this through the slot because it will not clear with this attached. All right, so we're gonna see how close we are with the clearance so we can get this new one in. So it looks like we're getting a little hung up at the bottom. So what I did was to grab those AC condenser lines, pull those back a little bit and that's giving me the clearance needed to make the way on down. Now, these clips that I was uh, talking about from the removal video, these are the clips here. They're on each side. They're on the top. They're on the bottom on both sides also. Those clips need to be in the, the AC condenser needs to slide into those clips. So once we get the radiator seated, we're gonna have to also slide those clips into place as well. So this section here is gonna be tricky to get the radiator installed. You're gonna have to either, you know, wiggle this back and forth. You may have to scoot it to the side, but definitely zip tie this bracket. If you're able to, that's gonna be a big help. Or like I said, unless you have two people helping, uh, one person can kind of jiggle this or, you know, move this back and forth while you're clearing the space to get the radiator in. Once you get the radiator in, it's pretty much should be a breeze from there. All you have to do is connect everything back up and that's about it. So I am going to start connecting, reconnecting the hoses. The first thing I'm gonna do is to reinstall the, the um, coupling piece here that we took off so that we could get the radiator in. I do have to make sure the condenser is 
in place on those clips on the back of the radiator. I'm going to do that before installing this coupling piece. I got to get the upper and the lower going at the same time there, lined up. that snap you know it's where it's supposed to be now we can scoot the radiator up back into place again it's going to be a little resistance there because now we have the lines pushed out so we have to try to get those lines back in realign so that the radiator is where it's supposed to be all right so i have the radiator lock on the driver's side to help hold the radiator somewhat in place of where it needs to be on the passenger side i'm going to go ahead and reinstall the coupling piece here reattach the coupling piece here for the connector for the upper radiator hose and now I am just reattaching the upper radiator hose all right so the coupling is in the upper hose is attached I need to cut the zip ties off so we can start putting this section back This is the other bracket, which goes right under this lip here. Just get in the cables. Reattach these cables. So that's how I had it before, just flipped up. that where it's supposed to go just need to remove the screws I put the screws back in the slot that they're supposed to be in all right so here's an update after I've screwed everything down I replaced the screws on both sides of the metal bracket there put the six clips back in here the third screw for this bracket, which also holds the middle of the metal bracket that we removed. I also remounted the horn on the side here. And we are almost done. So all the clips are in up top. So now we need to connect the hoses at the bottom. All right, so we have the last line for the transmission fluid up. So on the driver's side, we are done with the lines. That's the lower radiator hose, two transmission fluid lines. So we can actually go ahead and put the 
air box for the driver's side back in now. All right, there we go. All right, so we're on the passenger side now and going to do the same thing. All right. So the last air box, passenger side air box here, I'm just flipping it over. And again, we have to connect the hose kind of at the same time, make it easier to get back into place. And just make sure the bottom is lined up with those grommets. All right, so we have the air boxes replaced and back in place where they're supposed to go. And everything is plugged up. Everything is, all the hoses are connected. The only thing left to do is fill this with coolant and make sure we bleed it so that there's no air in the coolant lines and we're ready to go. So this is the end of this video for the installation of the radiator for a 2012 FX35. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure you click the like button, hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you can get notifications on any new videos that I post. Make sure you leave a comment. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.